aqueous tension. See, whenever we collect any gas by downward displacement of water, uh, we know it by when it bubbles it gets collected over here. Uh, like we are actually preparing nitrogen in the lab and we are collecting it by downward displacement of water. We know its pressure of nitrogen and we know its volume of nitrogen and we know its temperature. We need to know this and we uh, temperature let it be uh, T1. What you need to know in this case is that uh, you need to change this pressure, volume and temperature into the STP conditions. But before doing this, you, what you need to know is that this pressure of nitrogen is of a wet gas. Because here you whatever the nitrogen you have, along with this you have some water molecules present in the gaseous state also. So this wet nitrogen is equal to pressure of nitrogen dry and then it is equal to the pressure of water molecules which are existing in the gaseous state. Now this, this pressure, partial pressure of water vapors, partial pressure of water vapors is called aqueous tension. Now what you need to know and you need to remember is that whenever you want to change this pressure of uh, the gas into the STP conditions, you, you don't have to take the wet, wet pressure. You have to take the pressure of the dry nitrogen on dry nit dry gas. So what you need to do is you have to subtract actually the aqueous tension from the pressure of the wet gas so that you get the exact pressure of the gas and then you change it into the STP conditions.